In this video, you will learn how to use rigid transformations to recognize congruent triangles and parts of triangles. Recall that rigid transformations are transformations that preserve side length and angle measure. Three common rigid transformations are rotation, or the turning of a figure around a point, reflection, or the creation of a mirror image of a figure by flipping it across a given line, and translation, or sliding a figure a given number of units. Because side length is preserved, one rigid transformation or a sequence of rigid transformations on a triangle will produce an image that is congruent to the original triangle by the side, side, side criterion for triangle congruence. Let's look at some examples. Consider triangle JKL and triangle QRS. Triangle JKL is a translation of triangle QRS 10 units to the right. Are triangle JKL and triangle QRS congruent? We are told that JKL is a translation of QRS. Translating QRS preserves the side lengths. We can see this is true on the image. Both QR and its image JK after translation are three units long. SR and LK are each four units long. You can use inspection or the Pythagorean theorem to confirm that QS and JL are each five units long. Therefore, by side, side, side congruence, triangle JKL is congruent to triangle QRS. Or since both R and K are right angles, we could have used the hypotenuse leg theorem. Let's look at a situation where we already know that the triangles are congruent. Consider triangle JKM and triangle WXY. Triangle YWX is a rotation of triangle JKM and triangle JKM is congruent to triangle YWX. Which statements are true? Notice that the congruence statement names the triangles using a specific order. Letters in the same position represent corresponding parts of the two triangles, and corresponding parts of the two triangles are congruent. We can also identify the congruent sides by looking at pairs of letters in the same position. From this, we can see that angle KMJ is congruent to angle WXY, and that line KM is congruent to line WX, because they are corresponding parts of two congruent triangles. We cannot say the other two statements are true. Now you know more about how to use rigid transformations to identify congruence in triangles. Thanks for watching.